Vendors at the MTN Global Food Village are not only sourced due to their ability to bring the best eats, but rather also on their sustainable practices. Local Eswatini-based Black Mamba is one such company that has a strong focus on food sovereignty that emphasizes ecologically appropriate production, distribution and consumption, social economic justice, and the importance of local food systems as a way to tackle hunger and poverty. Hi, everyone. My name is Claudia Castellanos. I am the co-founder and CEO that reads Chile Enthusiast Officer of Black Mamba which is a social business from our very own Eswatini here that manufactures gourmet foods um, that are made with locally, organically grown ingredients and no added nonsense, which means for us necessarily no artificial flavors, colorants, preservatives, and I think funny that you don't know how to pronounce. So I've been invited by Bush Fire to bring our fire and to keep your fire burning and um, the way that we know how to do that is by bringing our heat in terms of chilies. So um, I just wanted to bring you today a very quick and easy recipe that you can do at home. And also, obviously, we're bringing the heat through what we do in terms of our chilies. What we decided to do today is um, stuffed avos with black bean salsa. As we do with Black Mamba, we want our food to be tasty, to be easy, to be quick, and to be healthy and wholesome. So that's why we choose this sort of like um, recipe. So what you need in order to, to do this recipe is avos. So avos are very much a staple food for us here in Eswatini, in Southern Africa. We love them. It's a fruit that is packed with goodness, with lots of vitamins, lots of good stuff, and also tastes delicious, very versatile. So these ones in particular are actually grown here at home for our avo tree, which makes it even more fulfilling because it's the food that you actually grow yourself. It's becoming a little bit of a trend nowadays with urban gardens, with people growing their own foods because of the pandemic. So that's, that's actually one of the silver linings that we have. And then what we're gonna do, obviously you're gonna get a, an avo that is ripe so it's actually very soft that you can open and the black bean salsa is almost like a call out to where i'm from originally because i'm originally from colombia um, and also salsa because um, it's a very versatile sort of mix it's usually made with lots of um, fresh ingredients like we have here and you can use it not only obviously for stuffed avos like in this case but also for dipping for tacos so it's very versatile so what you need for the um, salsa you need in this case you need black beans that are here so those are usually the black beans that you can get on a can very easily corn also for any local supermarket that you get straight away. We're gonna have some tomatoes that have been previously chopped. So in this case, it's fresh tomatoes that are here. And we're gonna get also um, fresh um, chopped red onions here, previously chopped. And the finishing touch for the uh, black bean salsa is organic coriander that we have here um, ready. And then for dressing it, you can actually make it vegan just like that. But if you want to add um, extra touch, what we do is some having some crumble feta cheese to add on top. And for the dressing, we have um, olive oil. We're going to squeeze some fresh lemon juice for my lemons here. And we're going to add some cumin and some salt. So before we even start, what I wanted to do is just give, as you can see, all of this food that is here is literally brought to us because we have farmers. So I think farmers are very much the unsung heroes of all this crisis. So I just wanted to bring a big shout out because they're the, the beginning of the value chain and without farmers, we wouldn't have any food. And another thing that is very important, I guess, with this sort of crisis is that it has brought up how we as humans are going back to basics and back to basics means mm, literally food and health. So we're not talking only about food, about farmers that grow our food, but how we actually improve our health by eating great foods, like foods that are healthy, that are wholesome. So the shout out goes in this case also to um, local organizations that allow us to connect to those farmers. So for instance, these tomatoes that we have here come from an organization called Farm to Table, locally in Eswatini, that connects um, farmers, small farmers, 
to us as consumers. And basically the beauty of it all is that they deliver even to your house. So you get all these fresh, beautiful ingredients delivered directly to your house. And the other organization that we would like to, to, to give a shout out to locally is an NGO called Guba. Guba also um, actually not only grows fresh, organically grown ingredients for obviously for people, consumers in Eswatini, but they actually teach farmers permaculture techniques and organic farming in order to make them more resilient. So we do have a partnership with them as Black Mamba for many years that allows us to actually get fresh ingredients, mostly our chilies and herbs from Guba and their farmers, and allows us to actually make our products, like we said before, with no added nonsense and fresh ingredients. So, so that's kind of like giving on this sort of stress on this footnote on, on the importance of food and health and these organizations that allow you to connect to the farmers. Um, that being said, let's start with our recipe straight away. So what you're going to do, we're going to actually get one of these really nice avos and we're going to cut it vertically like this in half. So making sure obviously you get an avo that is nice and ripe. So you cut it all the way around. And a very nice trick that we have with avos is like if you do kind of like a neat a horizontal twist like this, you get straight away two halves of the avos that are perfect and you can see it's a beautiful, beautiful ripe avo here. So I'm going to take this half that has the nice hole to stuff with my salsa and the other half I'm going to keep it with the pep inside. So that's a very nice trick when you're cooking. Um, that's what taught by me by my mom many, many years ago in Colombia. If you leave the pep in, that prevents the avo from actually oxidizing and turning all black but it still might taste nice, but it doesn't look very nice. So rather keep it like that. So I'm going to keep this one on the side to do it afterwards. So you have your half avo, and now we're just going to quickly do our salsa. So I'm just going to get my black beans here and put it on this big pot like this. Okay. Then after that, I'm going to get my corn. Nice. Then my tomatoes, I put too many tomatoes, so I'm just not going to add them all, just a little bit. So that was two chopped tomatoes. I'm going to add probably one and a half. Red onion here. Also, maybe too much, so I'm just going to put um, half of a red onion. And my fresh organic coriander. So coriander, once again, either you love it or hate it. So if you hate it, don't put it, of course. But if you love it, just put as much as you want. So you can see straight away, this has such beautiful colors and amazing smell so far. So what we're going to do after that, I'm just going to add my, my, my dressing basically. So I'm going to take half a spoon cumin. So that gives also kind of like a very Mexican sort of um, flavor to it. We love cumin as a spice, it's just so delicious. Secret ingredient of some of our sauces, by the way. And some salt. Same again, we don't really use a lot of salt, so I'd rather take like a half a teaspoon of salt. And to finalize, I'm just going to get some freshly squeezed lemon juice here, out of this big lemon. I always use a um, lemon squeezer, I find it a lot easier. So we're just going to do and go big, generous squeeze of lemon. Nice. And the last thing, little drizzle of olive oil. There you go. And I'm just going to mix all the ingredients together. Making sure they're all well mixed. So you have this beautiful, I can smell from here. I can smell the lemon juice, the cumin all together. Oh, it smells delicious. And this is how it looks like very colorful, really beautiful, really fresh. So when that's done, what you're going to do very easily, we're just going to spoon some of our mixture inside this avo. And as I said before, if you have it already like this, it would be really lovely to eat like that. 
But if you want to add extra flavor and you're not a vegan, we can just put a little bit of crumble, feta cheese that I had before. It also makes it look really pretty. Okay, so now you have that. And of course, the magic comes just at the end when you add a little bit of heat and we bring our fire to this dish. And what we decided in this case, we have a, like a nice range of um, chili sauces that have different flavors and different levels of heat, different chilies. We said before, all the colors are because of the fresh chilies because we don't use any, anything artificial. But this one in particular, which is our chipotle, is made with red jalapenos that we get from Guba that we smoke ourselves. So it has a beautiful smoky flavor very very popular in south america so i'm just going to drizzle and of course that depends on how much of a chili head you are or not you're going to drizzle more or less there you go et voila there you go now you have beautiful avo stuffed avo with our chipotle chili sauce and black bean sauce so before we actually taste this beauty, the last sort of kind of like awareness that we want to bring in our segment is we mentioned before about how important our health is these days and how we want to actually try to eat foods that are wholesome and healthy, free of poison, etc. But I think it's important, important to link that to the health of our planet. I think the, a, a good silver lining about this crisis is this sort of like shout out to sustainability. And I think it has brought to our attention as humans that um, this sort of economic um, model of growth that we have that is based on, on crazy growth is, is not sustainable in the long term. So um, a thing as consumers that we can do is obviously to try to work with the sustainability is to buy less and consume less. But of course, at some point you need to buy things. So when you buy, what we try to do is try to buy from those organizations of businesses that are having a positive impact on our planet. So positive impact could be because they take care of the environment, because they take care of communities, because they take care of something that is very close to you. As consumers, I think it's very important that we, um, we have a lot of power as, as consumers to actually shape the world in the post-COVID time to actually just shape it to something that is more sustainable. So we do have this great power, but it comes obviously with a great responsibility to choose wisely. So the, the last part of things is to, to allow us as, as consumers and also well, basically as consumers to actually make sure that we make the right choices towards sustainability. That being said, I think it's time now to try this beauty. So I'm just going to take my spoon. Let's see. Mm. Guys, this is absolutely delicious. I can taste the mix of the heat of the sauce, of the chipotles, of the smokiness of it with the crunchiness of the red onions, the tomatoes, the black beans all together with the soft buttery taste of the avo is just amazing. So what I encourage you guys to do is to try this at home. As you can see, it doesn't take long and it's very easy and super tasty. And if you want to share it with us, you can actually go on to our website, blackmambachili.com, or actually post photos or follow us on social media. Our um, handle is at blackmambafood. So I hope you enjoyed the rest of the festival. And until next time, 